Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, while waiting on my license, I built a fan dipole for 75, 40, 20 metres. 75 is flat top, horizontal wire, the 20 and 40 are inverted V, coming down from yeah. the save feed point at 75, so that's reinforcing that inverted V idea. Yeah, and this and is then, a perfect example. Before we go past that, we should probably yeah. pull up paint and draw a fan dipole for folks. But this is an example of having this fan dipole and then the two inverted Vs hanging off below it is much better and much more efficient than having three different antennas, an antenna switch, and lots and lots and lots of acreage. So, you know, like, don't be afraid of fan dipoles either. Oh, Again, I'm a big advocate of, you know, get a wire in the air and, and start talking. Yeah, so when when uh, Greg was talking about there a fan dipole, so you've got your, your normal dipole, which is, oh dear, I've done it again, which is just your two legs. So say this this is for... For 80 meters. I wish I could make that bigger. I should have made that bigger. See, this was all unplanned. This is, uh, thank goodness for paint, right? Uh, You've used Canva before? <laughs> <laughs> Canva, is, Canva sometimes can get a bit tricky. Uh, so, so you've got one common feed point here in the middle and you've got one leg from each dipole. If you add another leg, which is from the same feed point, and you pop them there and you use insulators between these two points. And then so you just use a bit sagging. of... Yeah, so just a bit of PVC just to keep them... stop the, As Tio said, stop them from sagging and from keeping them in the same line. Then you can... They they will be for that will be for forty meters and you can continue to do this and you can, what you can do is then you can trim each dipole each dipole leg for the frequency that you want and end up with a yeah, resonant antenna all the way up to like five gigahertz. <laughs> well, that's a very very short dipole. Yeah, um, five gigahertz so, dipole is like that. <laughs> yeah, so and, and so on and so forth. So I think you get the idea there. So that would be t uh, twenty meters, etc., etc., and too. and you start to get shorter and shorter and you end up with a lot of PVC and, a, and an interesting antenna in the air, but it works very well and it's a great multi-band antenna.